Hello and welcome to the Lesson Activity Toolkit video. This video is a part of a smart board training course that is um, helping advanced smart board uh, users learn how to use some of the extra components that are available on the smart notebook software. So today we're going to be taking a look at the lesson activity toolkit and the first thing that you need to do is open a brand new smart notebook file and come over wherever your uh, tabs may be there on the left or right and click on the picture frame. Over here are some of the resources that Smart Notebook gives to you to use um, as you plan your lessons. Uh, what we will be using today is called the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Now, some of your Smart Notebook softwares may, uh, software copies may not have the Lesson Activity Toolkit downloaded. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to download this resource. When you are in the picture frame um, tab, you need to go up here to the little wrench that says show additional gallery actions. If you click on that, there's an option down here that says check for updates. Come over here and it says Lesson Activity Toolkit. Mine says 1.0. If you click on this and wait just a moment, it connects to the notebook software and shows that um, there is content that you can update which would be the Lesson Activity Toolkit. Make sure all these are checked over here. Then you can go through and click Next, Next, and Finalize like you would downloading anything else. I'm going to cancel this because it's already on my computer. Once you are in and you have the Lesson Activity Toolkit, you have all of these items at your disposal. You have activities um, that you can use. You have examples that you can use. Games, graphics, pages, and tools. I'm going to just show you a, a few examples from each section. The first one is going to be the activities. If you come down here, there's 108 possible activities that you can use. Um, some of those options are given over and over just in different colors, depending on the theme that you are doing. Um, just as an example, you can do multiple choice questions, maybe as a warm up. You could do um, a vortex sort, and this one is for images. You can also do it for words. And when you do these, um, all you have to do as the teacher beforehand is to set them up. You click OK. You would put in whatever your title is. Say you are sorting by vowel types, long vowels and short vowels. Um, and you would type in long vowel. and short vowels. For this particular activity, you would come over here into the graphics and type in what you're looking for, find the graphic that you want down here, and all you have to do is drag the image into the box here. Of course, the option is already given here for a long vowel, but if it's not a long vowel, it's a short vowel, you can just move your tab down here and select short vowel instead. Once you're finished, you can password protect it so the kitties don't mess it up. Hit OK, and your vortex is ready to go. Now, this game could be played in a whole group setting or also as a small group center, which we're going to learn about later on in the week. Um, but that is an option that's available to you. Some other things available in the... Smart Board um, Lesson Activity Toolkit. We have some picture examples. And we also have some notebook files and pages, some things that are already created. Um, this example right here is a balloon pop game that you can create. This one has been done for you. It's um, an activity that you would probably use for around a second grader. Which of these words are verbs? And they would have to pop the balloons. Yes, that one is. No, that one isn't. Um, and I will also be teaching you how to use the balloons and edit the, um, edit the answers and also setting them up so you can pop them. Let's see. Some of the other games you can use. These aren't really games. 
they are very helpful. These are pull tabs that you can use. Um, say you have a activity up here on the on the smart board and the students might need a reminder of the directions. You can program this pull tab to have the directions. You can even program it to have um, a voice activated uh, where it reads it to the students if they can't read it for themselves. And then when they're finished reviewing the directions, all you have to do is push it back over to the side. And that way it's there every time you need it, but it's out of the way, um, not taking out valuable smart board space. Some other options that are available would be some already made lesson pages with some cate a category sort, for example. This one you can type your text in and the students can sort. And finally, there's already some smart response pages that are created for you. And these we would use um, more than likely for creating a Sentio quiz, which we will also be doing later on in the course. As I said before, any of these items that you choose to create, you can use in a small group setting as a center activity or as a whole group activity to either introduce, review, or practice whatever skill you're working on. I hope this has been helpful and see you soon.